Hi, I'm Derek from Fiber. I just want to take a few minutes and show you this new Dash delivery system that we have launched to the market here. Um, the premise of this system is to load your square very fast and to reduce all your time filling and also to keep your chemicals separate, to increase safety and to make sure you're not uh, pre-mixing things and losing active ingredients um, with all the dollars you're spending in your, in your chemicals. The premise of this thing has got four individual tanks and two pumps. So you want your main delivery pump, and this pump is uh, rated at over 400 gallons a minute from the manufacturer. Um, it also has an air diaphragm pump. Um, the air diaphragm pump is used for all your rinsing functions. So every time you, you preload your chemicals in your tanks, you got simple ways of, of loading and filling. You can see just by uh, simple indicators, uh, simple things like less experienced operators, you know, you can tell them, hey, I want, I want you to fill it to here. Um, we're using, you can use gravity to fill these things. You got to uh, put a bulkhead in here. You can just have a simple valve and you just you fill in your tanks. Um, so basically now you got everything loaded. You want to go to fill your spare. The operator would stand on the side of the trailer, um, fires, hooks up the hose, fires everything up, and now to unload, he would just pull the order of the chemicals that he wants to go. So if you have chemicals that foam, you would uh, maybe send them at the very end or, or once there's uh, lots of water. So you could you can empty one of these uh, tanks in, in uh, 15, 20 seconds. And uh, so that it, there's no, no venturies, it's all on the suction side, so it's very quick. Every time you pull a handle, what happens is there's two ball valves that that linkage is hooked to. One is uh, the ball valve at the bottom where it empties the tank. The other one is a, um, a ball valve that opens up a rinse. So every time you uh, unload one of these tanks, it rinses it down and it washes it out. So that's kind of the, the premise. So every tank gets washed out as you're unloading. So you get all your chemical, you don't have residue building up on the walls, and it's nice and clean that way. So say you want to do some dry products. What you can do with dry products is you can use your rinse pump to actually agitate this tank here. That pump is up to 40 gallons a minute. Um, you would just turn on your agitation, uh, add some water, and it would just then just circulate. Um, you can also plumb this to hook with air right off the truck. So, a uh, very simple um, way of agitating. Um, so say you want to rinse out now. You want to uh, clean out from one, from one product to another. You can actually fill this tank with some water, put your finish in here, all clear, whatever product you want to use. Um, you would then go, go along and just turn on the rinses for these tanks and then it will pull water from here and rinse down all the tanks. By doing that, you can just choose which your rinse source. You can choose fresh water, which is what you would use for uh, loading which normally. Um, or you can choose this tank here and it rinses down. So now you've got everything rinsed down with finish. If you want to do a bit better job, you've got a hand sprayer, you can you know, clean out uh, something more specific, your bulkheads or something like that. Um, you can also uh, clean filters. You've got, you've got a nice pressure water source for working and stuff there. So now you've got your tanks all washed down with finish. You've got finish in the bottom here. You would come back over here, you hook up to your sprayer, you unload, you push it all up to the sprayer. You've now cleaned all your plumbing, your, your pump, your, uh, your hose, your filters in your sprayers and as you're loading. Also, you rinse down your sprayer tank with that and push out your booms and you're done. So it's very simple to move from product to product, very safe. Um, there's lots of options and different ways you can configure this dash. There is a mid-mount version. There is also a rear mount, so if you want to put it on the back of a tanker or back of a deck truck. Um, there's a platform here that's available, so you can fill with gravity. Um, you'll hold a couple uh, totes of chemical. There's bulkheads for transitioning through decks. Um, so you can tuck your hose under your deck and have nice uh, sweeps coming up uh, and down from below deck. There's a cage. The cage has got a tote platform on the top. Um, it's got sliding doors, so you can access it nicely from the side here. Boxes of chemical. Um, Load, very simple from either side, both sides have doors. Other options include a boom, so a delivery boom. The delivery boom here includes a, a latch system and a handle, so a cradle for it to sit into. Push it down and it swings open. Uh, so very simple to use, gives you about 26 feet of reach, 27 feet of reach. Um, with the loop on the end there. The other thing too is a high flow manifold, so you can have a way of managing tanks. All these ports here are oversized internally, so you have proper suction, so if you can feed a pump like what we're running um, on this, this dash system. Also gives you the option of doing three inch, four inch, or six inch fills. So you can fill your unit back up and get back to the field. Um, 
So there's some different options that we have. You can kind of configure it to how you want. There's lighting kits. There's, there's lots of different things.